this is what a human teardrop actually looks like. Not like this. Along with water, it contains things like antibacterial chemicals, some hormones, and endorphins, the chemicals that make us feel better. There's also evidence to suggest that crying helps relieve stress. And this is Elizabeth Bennet, the main character of Pride and Prejudice, written by Jane Austen in 1813, a time when young women got married not because of love, but for political reasons, and were generally expected to be emotional and prone to a lot of silly crying. Elizabeth Bennet is an independent, free-thinking woman, and is not a silly crier. But she does produce a lot of tears. In fact, she produces tears three ways. First, she produces basal tears. These tears are what keep her eyeballs lubricated so she can look around and do things like roll them at Mr. Darcy. Second, Elizabeth also produces reflex tears. These tears are produced in response to irritants, like dust from the countryside of Hertfordshire, or when she encounters onions, or when she eats a lot of spicy Indian food. And finally, emotional tears, which are produced during times of great emotional stress. These can be strong negative emotions, like when Elizabeth finds out that Lydia has eloped with Mr. Wickham, the superficial cat who's been spreading lies about Mr. Darcy, or strong positive emotions, like when Elizabeth realizes that Mr. Darcy is her soulmate and that they will be living at beautiful Pemberley together for the rest of their lives. These tears are chemically different because they contain some added proteins. What these proteins are doing in her tears is not fully understood. But what we do know is that we are the only animals to have evolved emotional tears. And since evolution usually favors usefulness, it's in our best interest to be like Elizabeth Bennet, marry for love, and have a good cry once in a while. Even if you're a guy. <laughs>